Danger Man here for a very important video for you established players. And of course, you new players will get something out of this too. One important note, this video is for recreational paintballers, not for speedballers. If you're a tournament player, this video is probably not for you. Are you an established paintball player? I mean like an advanced paintball player who knows what they're doing. But when you go out to play recreational paintball with new groups combined with, you know, new players and other advanced players, how do you get them to work together so that the whole team can cohesively move forward on the day with consistent wins? Well, I'm going to show you how it's done. Let's first listen to me give some pregame planning to the team. Then I'll tell you how we got there. Listen, the, the, best shot, the best shot at the flag from coverage is right here on the mulch and then the fort. But yeah. someone's got to go. Yeah, you got plenty of people getting to that hut. Yeah. We, 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 we need to put somebody here on the, on the, on the wood pile, out there on that, on that pallet bunker, and maybe even wide out there. In case somebody gets shot, you can flush in from there. Mm. But I'm going to roll this way. I'm going to roll this way, and if you guys can roll with me and just throw paint. Guys, come over here for a minute. Hey, let's take a minute to explain what's being played. We're playing a variation of territories through a spinning pinwheel at the center of the field. You claim the territory, you set it to your team color on the pinwheel, and whoever owns it when the time expires wins the game. What you're seeing me point out right now is a berm that goes around that castle in a semicircle. However, you're only seeing the horizontal side of that berm right now, which is about 30 feet to this side of the castle. Another berm runs vertical straight through that castle from our side across to the other side, inhibiting both teams from just running straight up into it without exposing themselves at the top of that berm. They're gonna come up this uh, this edge of the berm, mm -hmm. just throw it straight down that lane and they're gonna run straight into it because they're gonna try to come up and get this thing just like him. So what you guys are gonna do, if you guys- We're just giving him cover fire. He, they got it, they got it. Protect yeah. me, I'll get to the house. I'm gonna run to the wood line. Yeah, just try not to shoot Dalton What we're the doing back. is setting up a mission critical position so the center player can not only give adequate cover fire, but give superior cover fire and take out players so the flag runner can make it to the pinwheel. Well, remember, your really only shots are gonna be left, left lane. You got a real hard time. You got to work underneath the steps. And then you have to get down. You have to crawl down in that little gap if you're gonna get any sort of shots whatsoever. It's a bear. How's the supposed to get it up? Because it's not. It's 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 yeah. I listen. This side's you, fucked. You, you have to throw so much paint at yeah, them that they can't that they can't go over. So it. here's the idea. Just... Everyone stands up. And just hey guys, covers. are you guys gonna try to set that pinwheel off the break, or are you gonna try to find a good gap? We're gonna wait. You're gonna wait. We're gonna wait. Well, we're gonna listen. Wait so you guys can get posted up and clear yeah. a row for a clear. Yeah, and we, just, we just stand up. All right. So down. listen. So listen. Here's the guy. Here, here's the deal, guys. Here's the deal. When Dalton is in a good position and everybody feels good about it, he'll yell out whiskey, letting you know he's ready. If you guys respond from the right side, tango. Four, three seconds after that, you make your rush and everybody gives cover fire. So it's whiskey, tango means ready. Three seconds and go. Everybody else gives cover fire for the runner. Right. Make sense? D Dalton. So listen, if Dalton's not in the t in the building, the building is going to prompt. The building's going to say whiskey, letting you know, letting everybody know we got a power position. I'll get there. I'll get there. You guys ready? You know, any yeah. other day taking the center castle would be an absolute bear, but on this day, I could see the other team was going to put all of its energy into going after the pinwheel side of the field, de-emphasizing the other side of the field, which made it possible to make an easy access run into the castle. So. Normally, it would be a tough ch time getting there. We made it look easy because they just didn't challenge us. Okay, how do we get here? How do we get to a point where a bunch of players who've never played with each other before start to play well together? And I'm talking about, again, a whole bunch of new players, some established players, advanced players, everybody working well as a team. Everybody filling a space in that void so that nothing is left unbalanced. Dalton! Dalton, watch your 12! He's gone, he's gone, he's You're gone. You're about to witness a You're danger clear. man no-no. You can leave it in comments if you know what it is. Can you see it? So what am I doing here? I'm surveying the field, establishing where my next move is, and then I'm going to get there quick. I'm not going to waste any time. One of the rough parts about playing this side of the field is it's so sparse and the bunkers are so small. So I had to really pick my bunkers carefully. Now here's something to take notice of as well. While I've taken a leadership role in the group, I'm also taking a supporting role. I'm not taking point position. I'm not out there to dominate and destroy the other players. I'm out there to play my part. And quite frankly, I'm playing from the left side of the field where none of the action is for the time being. Oh, by the way, look at me shooting switch for all those guys who love to hate. And the reason I'm shooting switch is because there's a guy or there's a player posted on the left side of that berm left from your field of vision, but actually on the right side of the berm. And there was players across the berm that I was blind firing, so, or blind shooting. So, 
I sw I'm shooting switch there to, to take on that player that's on the edge who pops out occasionally, and then I'm going to flip hands and shoot back over to the deep shot or blind shot over the berm to players are on the far side. Okay, getting back to the overall point of this video, and that is to be a leader, you don't have to say much. You let your gun do the talking. On me, he's now, on me, he's on you're me. not going to come out the first game of the day and try to tell people on what me, to do. In fact, me. I don't think that's necessary almost ever. Players will know a good player and a good leader when they see one. And it should be, you know, somewhat organic. If you let your gun do the talking and people can see that you know what you're doing and you know how to play, they're going to want to listen. They're going to eagerly ask you, what is it I can do to play better? And as that progresses through the day, by game two, game three, you're going to have players who both advanced and new willing to listen to you on game strategy and tactical play. And that's really what you're out there to offer. You're not out there to oh, micromanage. Sorry, you're out there sorry, to give people sorry. good, solid advice through formulated know. tactical know-how and strategy and based on you being, let's face it, probably a field regular, somebody who knows the yeah, field saying, and knows I mean, the terrain. The hey, it's time for a contest announcement. If you're an East Coast U.S. paintball player, then this is something for you. And when I say contest, I mean a promotional contest that only means a drawing. You don't have to use paintball skills to win. Just go to dangermanslayer.com forward slash team buddies. If that page is there, this contest is in play. And essentially it's for scenario paintball games held at OXCC. If you want to win entry and two cases of paint for two, then please hit dangermanslayer.com forward slash team buddies to learn the details. It's easy to participate. So Dalton here has a better shot on the left side here than he has from the right. And sadly, the right side is where all the action is. So he's he's kind of inhibited from really oh, doing a lot out, of damage on the other team. <laughs> oh, Having said that, our team owns the 50-yard line. So we're in a position now where we're going to take a pinwheel that's off to the other side of the building. It's not at the true center 50. It's at the 50, but it's on the right-hand side of the field. That's why you're also not seeing it in picture. So I'm letting my son know that there's a player who's trying to post up on him. So that when he comes out, he already knows where to fire. So what do we learn here? We learned that in a recreational paintball day, the way you become a leader is by earning respect and keeping that respect through minimalistic efforts. Now, when I say minimalistic, I mean essentially, let your gun do the talking. Don't run your mouth. Another important note is your heart needs to be in the right place. In other words, don't go out there to be a leader. Go out there and attempt to help your team win games. And if you being a good leader helps your team win games, then so be it. Otherwise, just play a support role. Let somebody else take leadership position. <laughs> now, I've done a lot of game production you over the years, Bobby. which means I've actually helped field set up their bunker arrangement and their game types. Hey, and I have to tell you, this, this field arrangement doesn't make sense to me with one single pinwheel to the right of that village castle there. There should be two pinwheels, or three, obviously, along this field. Because oh, it's boring as hell over here. just to the right, Look what I've got on my hands. I can't cross the 50. I can't flank. This whole side of the field is useless. I might as well not even be playing here. So in terms of field production, there's a responsibility by every game producer or field owner to set up their field so that all of the field can be used, whether it's for flanking, whether it's for territories or such. But this is an unusable part of the field. What I'm doing is almost useless. I'm shooting out players just for laughs and giggles. I could be playing over where the action is, but quite honestly, I want to let these new players enjoy themselves today. I don't need to be up there destroying everybody. I'm just playing a support role. And in this case, I'm supporting my son at the 50. Hey everybody, I know it's really hard to press the like button, and it's extremely hard to leave a comment, and it's even harder to share a video, but guess what? Those are the only three things I need from you if you want more videos from me. So remember, like, comment, share. Do your part, and I'll do mine. It's too much for any man! Hey, I don't want you to follow me on Instagram and Twitter because I'm a narcissist. I want you to follow me because I'm not a narcissist. I have video drop notifications, contest announcements, game day posts, event notifications, and more exclusive notices through those medium. So please, follow me on Instagram or Twitter, and you'll get more. Thanks. Hey everyone, it takes a lot of commitment to keep bringing you these videos, so why not, if you can, give back just a little. You can give as little as a dollar, 
on my Patreon page. And it's just like all my social media, Danger Man Double X at Patreon.